Heidi ho there, friends and neighbors. Bobby here today. What am I doing here today, folks? I am actually picking through some beans here that I am going to make a pot of beans. So if you stay with me here, guys, I'm going to show you how to make a pot of beans today. Beans are cheap, cheap way to eat. You make a lot of food for a lot of people for not a lot of money. It's good for you. Good in uh, protein and fiber. So stay tuned if you want to see how to make a pot of beans. Guys, the first thing I'm doing here is actually just picking through this uh, bag of beans. I'm looking for anything in here that might not look like I want to eat. Let me show you a perfect example. This thing over here that I took out a minute ago, that don't look right to me. It looks like it's been... I don't know what happened to that bean, but I don't want to eat that. So that's why you want to pick through your beans. So step one, open up your bag, lay them out on the table on a clean surface, clean table, and then uh, just kind of look through them and drag them off into a, uh, another container and you'll be ready to okay, go. Okay, we got all our beans picked through here and we've got our slow cooker out, ready to go. We've got all of our ingredients here. We've got our water for our beans to soak in. We're ready to go here, guys. Let me backtrack here, man. I want to show you what we're actually doing today. We're doing the um, Hearst Ham Beans brand of their 15 bean soup, okay? And these come either in a Cajun flavor or a ham flavor. It comes with this little seasoning pack that we'll actually add late, later, and it just simply says ham flavor, you know, for a slow cooker. And uh, I'm gonna read you off the back here. They, they have a little recommended recipe here, and we're gonna pretty much stick to it. Uh, we might alter it a little bit. It tells you, tells you that you're going to need the pack of beans. You're going to need an onion. You're going to need some diced tomatoes, some chili powder, some lemon juice, uh, some one to two cloves of garlic, and optional, a ham hock or smoked sausage. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I do it, okay? I actually have, of course, we have the beans here. And I'm going to put them in here in just a minute. I'm going to go ahead and... I've got a heaping teaspoon of salt, heaping teaspoon of pepper that I'm gonna add in at the beginning. We've got eight cups of water, okay? These beans are gonna soak up a lot of water for the first half of the day. And that's what we're gonna put in here in just a minute. And then later on, we're gonna open up a can of diced tomatoes. We're gonna add that. We're gonna sear up this little ham steak on the stove, and then we're gonna dice it up. We're gonna throw that in there later this afternoon. We have an onion. We're actually gonna saute some of that onion and saute some of this garlic, fresh garlic, while we're doing the ham steak, and then we'll throw all that in later this afternoon, okay? Um, and optional here, I don't like things that are real hot and spicy, but I will add a little chili powder to taste, and I'll add that as I go today. All right, so with that said, let's go ahead and get started. One thing I like to do, anytime I cook anything in a slow cooker, I will go ahead and take some cooking spray and spray the inside of this thing when I start, okay? That is just gonna make it easier to clean up later. Whether I'm making spaghetti, chili, beans, whatever, step one is to put a coat of some sort of um, cooking spray in there or I guess you could use butter or whatever that's what I do now let's go ahead and just add the beans look at there you see about how many there is okay it don't look like it feed a whole lot does it you just wait till later today okay all right you see how it covered the bottom here it didn't even hardly cover all of it and now we're gonna add eight cups of water okay now guys if you've never made beans before you're gonna notice there, I mean, that looks like a lot of water for them little bit of beans. See how far it filled it up? But in a little while, probably four hours into this thing, this those beans are gonna grow and they're gonna soak up all that water. Let's reach down here and flip this sucker on high, on the slow cook side. And we're gonna cap it off with a lid here in just a moment. Let me grab the lid. Oh, hold on, wait a minute. I wanna go ahead and add uh, my salt and pepper. I'm gonna add that right now. And then let's see here. Let me, this is the closest thing I got to mix with right now. You just kind of stir up a little bit. Stir the salt and pepper in there a little bit. And we're gonna let that start cooking, okay? We're gonna cap it off and let that start cooking for three or four hours. And we'll come back and show you what it looks like here in a little bit. Let me go ahead and put the cap on it right quick. So guys, 
it's just that easy to get a pot of beans started okay so we'll come back in a few hours we'll take a look and then we'll show you how to add the other stuff later on all right guys it's been about three or four hours let's take a look at our beans and see what they look like here okay as you can see the pot is actually filling up with beans okay look as i stir this around remember a while ago it was just mainly water but now we got a lot of beans in here okay all right so let's just leave this here for a while and we're going to go on over here to the um, stove i've got a pot um, or a pan warming up right now we're going to put some onions in it let's go ahead and take the onions on over and throw them in here we put a little bit of olive oil in the bottom of this pan let's throw these onions in here Ooh, i might have that thing a little bit hot hang on a minute here let's see let's get something moving around may have it here hot we don't want to burn our onions but what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and saute up these onions oh, i think i got it about right we're good to go we're going to let these uh and what we want to do is just saute them up you know the onions are white you want to until when they start looking clear that's about the way you want them okay so we're going to do this here for a little bit and then we're going to throw in some uh chopped up garlic okay i got uh probably about five cloves of garlic here um chopped up we'll throw that in toward the end because it won't take as long for it to saute and then we are going to crank the heat up and sear this ham steak okay so let me get busy um sauteing these and then we'll show you what we do with the ham steak okay the onions are almost there guys so it's time now to go ahead and throw in all this good garlic Okay, let's see if I can get all this off of here one handed. I might not be able to, let's see if I can just grab it by hand here and throw it in here. All right, there we go. <clears throat> all right, so we're going to finish sauteing the onions and go ahead and saute this good garlic up right here. And then we'll lay this aside in just a moment. Okay, I've already removed our onions and garlic here. I got it sitting on a plate close by. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more olive oil to this pan. I'm going to crank the heat up just a little bit. And let's move it around here a minute. And then I'm going to go ahead and throw this uh, ham steak on here. And we're going to sear it good on both sides. Kind of get a little brown action going on. And then we will pull it off and dice it up. All right, guys, this ham steak's looking good. You see that nice little brown on there? That's what I like to have on there. So we're about to get that good on both sides. I'm gonna let it get just a little bit browner. Uh, now what we've done so far, I've got the can of tomatoes, the diced tomatoes. I went ahead and put them in a bowl, put them in the microwave to heat them up so they'll be hot going into our mixture so it won't cool off our pot of beans. And we're getting ready once we get this diced up. That looks good on that side. And we're gonna put all this stuff together and dump it into the pot all at one time. I've also, uh, squeeze the lemon from one lemon okay I actually went up to the store earlier and purchased a lemon so we have that ready to go as well okay we got our ham steak off of the grill now and I'm gonna try to dice this sucker up I'm gonna cut it this way back and forth in about half inch squares I like it to have bite-sized pieces in it you know where when you get a hold of one, you can at least taste it. So we're gonna go, to go just like this, this away, and then we're just gonna turn. Let me just turn the whole thing this away so y'all can still see me through the camera. And we'll just go right down through here like this. And this is hot, so you might wanna use a fork, but I ain't got time for all that right now. I'm making a video. And I'm rocking and rolling. So there you go, guys. Everything's diced up and ready to go in there. All right, it's time to add everything together. Let's take this lid off. As you can see, we got some good steam coming out of there. And it has been boiling a little bit. Let me just give it a quick stir again. Looks like we still have plenty of water. Okay. Plenty of liquid in here. We probably could have put a little less liquid in it. So let's go ahead. Here is the lemon juice. The lemon juice from one lemon. We're gonna add that in there just like so. Here is our ham, okay. 
So let's go ahead and add our ham in here. Go ahead and add it right on in. Without knocking it off of the cutting board here. That's gonna be some good stuff. That's gonna make it good there, guys. Now remember that little ham seasoning pack that I showed you that come with the beans? Here it is right here, I've already opened it. Let's just throw it in there. I don't know what's in it. It's like mystery seasoning, but I'm sure it's gonna be good. All right, let me grab the tomatoes, can of diced tomatoes that we went ahead and heated up just so it wouldn't cool our contents of our pot down too much. And now right over here, we have our sauteed onions and garlic. Let's go ahead and add it to the pot. And guys, that's probably gonna be about it. What we will do from here on out is maybe salt to taste. Between now and dinner time, I'm gonna go ahead and stir things up here a little bit. Just to kind of mix everything together. And we're gonna let this cook. We'll let it keep on cooking and let all them good foods there just marinate together. And we'll probably eat here in a few hours, okay? So stay tuned. Don't go nowhere. All right, folks, it's dinner time, baby. Woohoo! These beans have been cooking along here all day long, okay? Now look what I got here in my bowl here, all right? I got me a piece of cornbread made in the waffle maker. And if you hadn't seen the video for that yet, you're going to, okay? So be on the lookout for that where I show how to make cornbread in the waffle maker, okay? So I'm gonna get me a nice size bowl of these good old beans here. And let's see what they taste like. I know I've already taste tested them, guys. They're delicious. But I just wanna do it right in front of you. I'm gonna get me a little bit of that cornbread that is so delicious. A little bit of these beans. Oh, let me see if I get a little bit, bit of that ham too, okay? I got a little piece of ham there. That's some cornbread and beans. I know it's gonna be hot. Mm. Folks, that is some good eating right there, I'll tell you what. Mmm. Beans and cornbread. It don't get much better than that, guys. Thank you for stopping by and watching the video today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Take care.